I have another piece of Prong Technologies. We're going to cover it today. The Oxim coming up next right here on Better Biomed. Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'm going to go over this little guy. Now this comes in the Pronk Technologies backpack and it seems so discreet because of its size, but this guy has a lot of technology packed into one tiny little box and a tiny little finger. See that? So I want you guys to take a look. It does have a screen with some presets, which if I remember right, there's five presets. Yep. Five different presets. And uh, what you can do is quickly scroll through uh, set parameters and they will display up on your pulse oximetry box. Now the thing is, if you have one style of pulse oximetry box throughout the whole entire facility, you can use something like this, which is the Massimo uh, Rainbow Tester. And it simulates everything, but it does not test your sensor or your trunk cable. All it does is it tests the monitor and the analyzer itself. So here's the thing, this guy tests the entire system, which is a pretty big advantage because if you're doing a PM, you want to also test your sensor just to be sure that it's functioning because we all know with pulse oximetry, the sensor is one thing that's going to go bad the fastest out of all of them because it goes between people, it gets wiped down a lot, gets cable yanked quite a bit, the cord gets trapped in between bed rails and it gets sliced and diced. There's a lot of stuff that happens to the sensor. But we like to test it as a system. And that's where this guy comes in. So it's got a tiny little finger. You see right here. And it does have a little indicator showing you what side the LED's got to go. See the LED? So what we're going to do is we're going to put the sensor on the simulator. And it's going to go ahead and give us... A quantity over here which you can see it's gonna go nuts we're going past our alarm value because it's at 140 BPM let's go ahead and turn it down a little bit so we'll shut those alarms off but guys it's actually very very simple so you can see that my BPM is falling because I now selected a different preset yep it's supposed to go all the way down to 80 BPM which it is I've got 98% SpO2, and we can play around with those. So either I can use this to test out some of my uh, parameters that are keyed into the monitor itself, like your alarm levels, or you can use it to test out the sensitivity of the sensor itself. Now, we all know that pulse oximetry doesn't actually fall out of calibration, not very often. And the reason it can't is because there's two different types of wavelengths of light that it's looking for. And because of that, it's inherently just very accurate. So you can see here that if I flip the sensor around, it's not going to show. See that? It's going to show assistily. So make sure your sensor's on correctly. You can scroll through these guys right here, or, or we can hold the up button while turning it on and you can set your own presets, which can be very important depending on the technology that you're going to be analyzing. <laughs> Here, let me shut this guy off. There we go. Okay, so this guy has one AA battery inside it, and off one AA battery, if I can remember correctly, they said that it's going to run about 10 hours, 10 hours off one AA battery, and that's pretty impressive if you think about it. One of the reasons that it's impressive is here on the back side, you see that little finger? It's going like this. It's actually interrupting the light path, and that is what's giving you your BPM. How incredible is that? There is so much stuff that's stacked inside this, and I really like that they have a clear finger so you can see all the technology that's going on inside that little finger. Now, these guys here, the actual simulator for SPO2 used to be bigger than this, than this entire monitor. It used to be huge, and now I've got it in the palm of my hand. This little simulator fits in the corner of the Pronk Technologies backpack or you just throw it in your tool bag. Now one of the things I haven't talked about very much when it comes to these Pronk Technologies products is that they can all be controlled by the Bluetooth 
which we will get into in a whole separate video because there's so much stuff that you can do. However, the Bluetooth app can automatically select your parameters and automatically scroll between them and you don't even have to interface with this device at all. You just connect it to your monitor that you want to check and then you on your Bluetooth app as you run through your PM it will automatically control this guy and tell it what values to select which is a super super cool feature. Now let's say one other thing that you forget to turn this guy off. Well this guy has a built-in 10 minute timer and it will shut itself off you don't have to worry about it you accidentally throw it in your backpack or into your tool bag you forget about it shuts itself off in 10 minutes you come back to it and it is not dead. Remember, the battery, the AA battery, lasts about 10 hours of continuous use. How crazy is that? So anyway, guys, that is the Oxim by Prong Technologies. Incredibly portable, very, very versatile, and it's a super simple menu, which is obviously a going trend for all the Prong Technologies. You can um, select your different probes, and then you go up and down on your presets, Simple as that. It's very, very easy. You don't even need the user manual because all your instructions are pretty much written on it for what you have to do. So anyway, guys, that is the Oxim by Prong Technologies. It's an amazing little piece of technology that makes our lives so much better because I don't know about you guys, but carrying around the pulse oximetry simulator that was that big, uh, I believe it used to be made by Valley Lab or by uh, Fluke. It was huge. And it was a burden to carry on site. You know, it's we went from a huge cart full of test equipment to now just a little backpack full of stuff. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you like this. We are going to go over the Bluetooth later. I'm going to cover it into some detail because there's so much stuff to talk about. But for right now, simple menu, easy to operate. Oxim. Thanks for watching, guys.